Why does my phone play One Direction every time I get in the car? Good morning, guys. Today is like the first day in so long that I've not woken up past like 10 a.m. Even though we've had so much to do over the past few weeks, me and Jake have literally been lying in and just like not been able to get up at all. I stayed by myself last night and I was up at quarter to seven this morning because I have some errands to run before we do the final emptying of the house because today's the last day. We literally go tomorrow. My mum got me a watch for Christmas but it's a little bit too small so I need to get a link put back in and then I have to go to Nationwide and try and access an old bank account that I basically just like forgot about but I know that I have money in it. Then this morning when I woke up, the people that are dealing with like my visa and stuff, he texted me and he was like, okay, today can you send over like a studio passport photo for your visa? And I was like, oh my God, that means I need to like try and look nice today. Hence why I've got a little bit of makeup on. Um, but I'm so annoyed. I wish I knew I would have to send that over and I could have actually got like fully ready. Like I want to have a little passport girl moment, but I've just got on a little, a little something, so. Hopefully it's kind of cute because I want my picture to be nice. My one on my passport and stuff is literally the ugliest photo of like 16 year old me. It's so disgusting and I'm stuck with it for ages. So hopefully today's one's nice and I have a return to do and some vintage parcels to send. Shock. But then yeah, today is the last day. We literally need to have it all done. And then we go tomorrow. <laughs> Oh my god, I can't wait to have a normal life again. Well, not like normal, but like a routine. I've not worked, I've been not been cooking, been eating so badly. It's just like, I don't know, I feel not like myself. I need some normality back in my life. But it's probably gonna be a while till I get that. But yeah, I'm just on my way to St. James' Center just now. And hopefully I can get all of this done really quick because my mum and my stepdad are going to come up and help me for the rest of the day and then going out with the girls for a little farewell Mexican at like 7 tonight. So yeah, hopefully it'll be a nice productive day. Well, not hopefully, it needs to be. <laughs> back from my little outing into town. Also, I'm such an idiot. You know how I said that I got a watch and then I needed a link put back in? So on Christmas day, I swear, when I tried this watch on, it was like tight, like super, super tight. So I got them to put one link back in and then it was massive. And I was like, oh God, you're gonna have to just take that link back out. And then I put it on and it, it just, it had fitted me this whole time. Anyway, here she is. A little Vivian Westwood one. It's got this little charm on it, which is quite cute. But yeah, apparently it had fit me the whole time. And then I managed to get everything sorted with my bank account. It was a little bit of a struggle, but the woman that helped me in the end, she was so, so nice. So that was a successful town trip. My, actually no, my passport photo or visa photo is actually disgusting. I look so pale and pink. Um. But I've just had to send over anyway. Also, these are £10 now. I think they used to be four. £10. Now I just need to finish packing. And that's it. Wow. That was such an emotional night. Oh my god. So this is my empty house. It's literally like half ten at night right now. What time is it? 20 past 11, oh my god, I did not know it was that time. But basically emptied the house, went out for dinner with the girls. <laughs> this was meant to be like my little farewell meal and we went to this place called El Jefe's, so it's like Mexican themed, but there was a literal mariachi band. It's a small little place and this mariachi band was like playing these big guitars on the microphone and it was the loudest 
thing you've ever heard in your life. Like we actually couldn't speak, we were all actually like shouting across the table, couldn't hear each other. Um, so yeah, we thought that was going to be a really sad meal, but we were just laughing the whole time because we had no idea what anyone was even saying. But it was very fun and the food was 10 out of 10, it was absolutely unreal. And then we had to come back here and everyone helped me empty the last bits. Um, I thought that this was going to be the last time that I seen my house because I'm not staying here tonight but my car is completely full and there's still other things to go in so I'm going to have to come back in the morning. I actually can't deal. But I said goodbye to my little brother and my stepdad as well so that was very emotional. I've been quiet, uh, crying. I've been crying quite a lot tonight. I don't know if you can tell but I've kind of cried my makeup off today. I feel like it's actually like sitting, like me and Jake were in the car leaving my mum's and we're like, I don't know what this feeling is. Like, ugh, it's like uncomfortable, sad, excited, like, oh, it's very, very bittersweet. But yeah, I feel very eerie in my house right now because it is so empty. I feel like my house looks smaller now that there's nothing in it. And my room looks like an actual trap house. I've just got some little bags for charity and some Halloween stuff I've realised I want to keep. And another big bag here for charity. And that's literally it. What the hell? My house. My house. <laughs> I actually got emotional when I was looking at my bed. Even though it's just a mattress on the floor, I'm like, oh my God, my little bed, it's so comfy. <sighs> this is not for the faint of heart. Moving country is not easy. Then I literally have gotten rid of all my belongings. I have nothing apart from three cases worth of stuff. Like, that is just not normal. But yeah, it is 20 past 11, so I better be getting back to Jake's so that we can actually get a good sleep tonight and then wake up and finally finish everything tomorrow. We're almost there, we're almost there. It's the next morning and I'm back in the flat in the same clothes as yesterday, don't judge me. I don't know if you can tell but I'm actually sweating because the lift broke last night. Luckily it was after we took all the cases down but this morning I still had like a big bag of clothes for charity so I've had to do like four runs up and down the stairs and I'm on the top floor, which is the fifth floor. So I am absolutely sweating in this leather jacket. Now the house is finally empty, so I need to say goodbye. Goodbye house. Mwah. Love you. I don't actually feel too sad leaving the flat because I know that I'd outgrown it anyway and that I did want to move regardless. But it's still my first ever first wee flat. Lots of good memories here. I found a little journal entry as well um, from when I first moved in. And it was so cute. I was like, oh, I was just so happy because I'd finally got in like my own space and my own like routine and everything like that. And I was just absolutely cheesing because I'd literally wanted this for so long. But now we say goodbye. Bye. Look at how full my car is. <laughs> oh my god. Right, now it's time to drive to the airport. We all just met up at Jake's house and all our friends came and waved us off and it was so, so cute, but everyone was crying again. It's actually been such an emotional couple of days. Um, but now I'm at my mum's work, coming to pick her up and she's gonna drive me the rest of the way to the airport so that she can take my car home. So I'll see you at the airport. <laughs> hey, mister. <laughs> this is like my first healthy meal in like two weeks. Okay, we finally made it 
made it to our little apartment after the world's most stressful airport situation I left my passport on the plane and I am not like that at all I feel like I'm really organized but I thought Jake had it for some reason he's had it all morning but I forgot to give it back to him and I've left it on the plane we're about to go through passport control and my passport wasn't in there my heart literally sank and then we had to sit and wait and wait for it to go to lost found lost and found but I was googling it and I was so nervous because it says if they don't find it they just send you back home um, but we just had to wait like two hours and then luckily we got it back but I was like on the verge of a panic attack but it wasn't that bad in the end but I was really stressed okay I'm gonna give you a little room tour I'm absolutely roasting this is our little apartment for the first five nights and then we need to switch to another one it's actually so much bigger than I thought we've got two bathrooms this is our little living room with a balcony. Wait till you see this view. Look at that. Oh my God. Then this is our little bedroom. Then we've got all these cupboards for clothes and stuff. It's actually so cute and it's got a really nice pool as well. So we're just gonna get ready and go up to the pool. I can't believe we're just gonna sit at the pool all day today. I cannot believe it. Hi guys, I feel like I kind of just left this vlog in the dark a little bit. I think I already gave a little apartment tour um, and after that we just went up to the pool, had a little sunbathe. I'll need to actually take my camera up and film the pool because it's so beautiful. Um, and then we went and met our friends. It was meant to be a quiet night and then we ended up going out, which was not good because I'd literally had about two hours sleep. Um, and then today's New Year's Eve and I've got two hours to get ready. All my stuff is like everywhere it's all in different suitcases and i'm like panic stressing because i need to be ready our friends are coming in uh 20 minutes i think or half an hour and i wanted to film it but i just don't think that that's going to be possible i don't know if i have eyelashes i don't know if i have eyelashes i hate this living out of suitcases is so stressful anyway that is just a little update because i didn't want it to just skip to new year's eve um just without telling you you know, what's been going on. Happy New Year! Happy New Year! Wait, <laughs> <laughs> I'll get one. Where are you? <laughs> Morning guys. So, I've actually not even picked up my camera, I don't think, since the day that we got here, which was like five nights ago now. So we're actually in a different apartment. Yesterday we done the big move here and now we can finally like settle in. Like that last place, it was really, really nice but our cases were just open and everywhere because there was no point in unpacking if we had to pack it all up again in a few days. So today's task, oh also it was Jake's first day at work today. Um, so he left this morning and I actually, I literally cried when he left. I was literally started crying like a mum when their child starts like P1 or something like that. It was actually too much. But yeah, he started work now so it actually kind of feels real that we've moved here because today I just need to have like a normal day that I would at home but over here. Um, but we kind of have a lot to do before I can get back into work. I need to unpack and kind of reorganise and re-kind of centre myself. I've been so tired and just like not... 100% me. I feel like I need a really good self-care day um, and I just need to get myself back to feeling like normal. But yeah, today I'm going to unpack all the cases and have a little self-care day. I'll give you a little tour of this new apartment though. It is not the cutest and it definitely looked better online than it does here but we only need to stay here for two months so do you know what? It's not bad. I keep saying that it's worse than it is. It's actually not that bad. It's just got questionable wallpaper, but I'll show you. Yeah, but this is our little bedroom. The bed's cute. The bedside tables are cute, but it's just like, I don't know. It's very questionable wallpaper and art. Then we've got all our storage. This is where I'm going to have to try and film from now on. And there's literally 
not even any storage. And this is our little bathroom. I'll be able to film some nice videos in here. Nice big shower. It's quite cute in here. Look at all of our cases, they're literally everywhere. Little washing machine. And our little kitchen with a wee breakfast bar, which I actually really do like. <laughs> Here's me taking a Polaroid of Jake for his first day at work. Look how cute. This is the little living room. I'm watching Madeline Archie's podcast. And a little sofa and our wee balcony. And this is the case that I'm going to start on. And I'm just going to get everything unpacked and put away. Okay, here's a little unpacking update. I've kind of filled this side now. I've got all my hair tools and hair stuff down here. All my clothes, bags, caps. And then I've got like shorter stuff to hang here and all of my gym sets. I'm going to leave this next one for Jake because I feel like like I can't just fill the cupboards while he's at work. But I did have to put like all my longer dresses in at the side here. The only issue is this suitcase is still full of makeup. Like this is just makeup. Oh my God, it's so heavy. Just makeup and lights and skincare. And none of this has a home. I've got no idea how I'm gonna store this. Morning. Oh my God, look at my hair. I slept with oil in my hair last night. I finally get to have my big self-care shower and actually spend some time and just like shave, wax, wash my hair. Like I want to do a full routine face mask gua sha. Like I want to just totally make myself feel good again. I think I'm going to film it for TikTok and Instagram as well. So I might just insert that. Here. As I was looking for all my skincare stuff and trying to put everything together for the video, I realised I forgot my like my Maybelline tattoo brow tint. I went on to see if I could get any ordered and you literally could. I could order a Maybelline brow tint to my door with a zero pounds or dunums delivery fee. Like genuinely free delivery, it would just come to the door. But it said it would take 80 minutes. So I looked at the place it would be delivered from and that's only a 30 minute walk. So I reckon I can do it in 10. So I think I'm just gonna put a little gym set on and take a wee walk because it's nice to just get out in the mornings anyway. Let's go for a little walk. That was such a nice little walk. The temperature outside when the sun's out is so nice right now. I got some little goodies. I got some nail polish remover because my toes look awful right now and then some white polish as well. Me and Jake also, we didn't know that there was mosquitoes in Dubai, but we've both been bitten so badly by mosquitoes. So I got like a little two in one repellent and I don't know, healer cream. And then obviously what I went for, my little Maybelline tattoo brow. Ready to film my little self care video. Hi. I feel like a new woman. I literally done everything. Shaved, waxed, tinted my eyebrows, curled my lashes, washed my hair, blow dried my hair. Oh my god. I've not washed my hair since before I left to come here and I've just been feeling so disgusting. I use this Fenty body butter. It's called Butter Drop and it's the warm shimmering cinnamon scent. Oh my god. If you're like a cinnamon kind of person, or like, you just like sweet smells, sweet things. Mm. I'm really scared that it's limited edition because I did get it in the Christmas gift thing, but oh my God, if you open this, it smells like the nicest cinnamon bun that you could ever imagine in your life. Like it's tasty, it's gorgeous. And it's got little gold flecks in it as well. All my body and on my chest, you won't be able to see, but it's like covered in little gold flecks. I just feel like a little princess. I am struggling so much without my Nespresso machine. It's actually a real issue. But they're so expensive here and like the sleeves of pods are so expensive as well. I looked on the Nespresso website here and it's like £220 for like one of the more basic machines. Each sleeve alone is a tenner. Which isn't bad because there's 10 pods so you're paying like a pound of coffee whereas like a nice coffee here to buy is like £6. But I found one on Amazon and it's 130 for the machine. But the Arecinos are like 60 pounds, 80 pounds. And I was like, why did I not just bring mine with me? But I just really didn't have the room. And then I can't order the Nespresso pods because I don't have a UAE billing address. 
I just need one of those quads. I'm just gonna have to go out tomorrow and get them. But I think I'm gonna order the machine just now. Yay! I bought my Nespresso machine. Yeah. They say money can't buy your love. They say money can't buy your love. You never seem to listen. I'm all in. Hi guys, good afternoon. Me and Jake had a lovely little gym session this morning and sat by the pool for a few hours. By the way, this book, Silent Patient, has got me out of my reading slump so, so well. I feel like the past six months, I've tried to read like five, six books and just been like, mm, meh, not really hooked. But this one, oh my God, this book is so good. I've not finished it yet, but I've only read it twice and I'm like almost all the way through and that's not happened to me in so long and it's such a good feeling when you're just like stuck into a book but i've just got ready i feel like i've got makeup on for the first time ever it feels so nice to finally have some makeup on again but i've gotten ready because me and jake are going to go for like a little explore i feel like we've not really seen anywhere apart from jvc and the pam and obviously there's loads more to dubai so we're going to go along like the beach bit i think it's called jbr um and we're going to have a little explore down there and we need to get an espresso pods because look, I'm gonna unbox my goodies. I've just about slipped on the floor and I've realized that the whole kitchen floor is soaking. We had to get someone to come in and fix our aircon this morning so I think that it's leaking from the roof. Anyway, back to, <laughs> that's not good. But quickly back to the Nespresso unboxing. So we've got two big boxes. I feel like this one is gonna have the Nespresso machine in it. Oh my God. Stop I'm so excited, oh my God. We also had to get little adapters because there's not enough plugs in this house. I had the Virtual Plus at home, which I think is like the best one, um, but it was like so expensive here. Anyway, I got this one because it was cheaper and it's actually cuter, but we've got the Nespresso. Now in this next box, I think I already showed you everything that I ordered last time, but anyway, let's just pretend like You've got no idea what's in here. So I got my little off-brand milk frother. And I feel like it'll work exactly the same. A little selfie light, because I left all mine at home. <laughs> Six litres of Oatly Barista. My fave. Got a pounding headache as well. Is, is caffeine withdrawals a real thing? Because I think that's what I'm experiencing. Every single day I've had a headache at around like lunchtime and it's actually just getting worse and worse i need a coffee now anyway it's just cheaper to bulk buy this so that's what i intend to do and that is my little amazon haul so jake's away getting his haircut and he's on his way back now i'm gonna go explore jbr and we're gonna go to the mall and get some nespresso pods so we can wake up tomorrow and have a coffee like at home i think i might actually cry when i have a coffee in the morning i'm so excited anyway if we do anything fun I'll bring you along with us. Come on, do this test. We've got a red velvet brownie. How's that? It's a bit cream cheesy though on the top. Guys, they've got a freezing cake. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually nervous. Why am I actually nervous to go to fucking Raising Canes? <laughs> so Sweden. Sorry. My god, there she is. <laughs> Are we gonna go? Why do I feel like I'm meeting a celebrity right now? How do you feel right now? I'm giddy. The queue is too big for what's been. Oh well. <laughs> We've got Mark. some free canes iced tea. <laughs> I quite like it. <laughs> it tastes like boba. It's barking. Mm. 
I like that. They just came out of nowhere. <laughs> Show me. Chicken wing. Chicken wing. It's not for the crunch I expected. It's not crunchy. Texas toast. What are you meant to do with that? Just put it in the sauce yeah. and bite it, yeah. Mmm. Nice That's bag. nice. I haven't even tried a chip yet. Wait, this one's going to be crunchier. Not better. Mmm. Chips are good. Nice. What's your thoughts? It's nice, but... I thought it would be better. Oh. I'd say 7 out of 10. <laughs> we ended up buying some bits and bobs while we were out today, so I'm going to do a little haul. First thing we got, we went to this shop that literally sells everything. We got these two little glass mugs for our coffees in the morning, and then we got a little laundry basket. Hey, could you be any louder? Do you got an extension plug? Went to Nespresso to get some pods. They didn't have my favourite ones, which is the Double Espresso Cairo. So we just had to get loads of these guys. Double Espresso Dolce. Then when we were down at the beach, we got roped into buying four perfumes from this nah, little stall. One. One, well, they said one perfume. You buy one perfume, you get two free. And then we weren't going to do that. So we said, okay, you get one perfume, you get two free, and then I'm going to give you another one as a gift. So we ended up with four perfumes, <laughs> two, three, four, and then he threw in a, an, ah. a, an air freshener as well. So we got four perfumes and an air freshener when I only really wanted the one. But it wasn't expensive and they smelled really, really nice, that one. Wow, so exciting. So exciting, we get some honey, for our coffee in the morning. And these were two two honeys for nine dirhams, but all the other honeys are like 30, 40 dirhams. So I don't know if this means that this one's really bad honey, but we just got it anyway. Single banana. A single banana. And some sweeties for tonight. We got some salted caramel m and And that's our haul for today. Thanks guys. Thanks for watching. Mwah.